Another day, another sleigh. Today has been my grind day. I have started a lot of work. I'm doing a lot of things. I think I told y'all I decided I was going to Greece and now all of a sudden all of those plans have changed because I'm now considering doing something else. So I need to get my Airbnb shit together for that today and send some options to my friends. My friend might be meeting up with me now. So yeah, I woke up at like 10 a.m. and I started work and then <laughs> At like 1.45, I left to go get food and I have been out <laughs> since then. It is 5.30 now. I got home at like 5.10. I went to Greska, which I will insert some videos here. Beautiful dining experience, dank food. I also met a really cool human there, which was fun. And I also sat next to an adorable family who gave me some of their chicken. And shout out to the chicken there, cause the chicken slapped. <laughs> and I'm glad I tried it. Yeah, I went there, it was an amazing experience. Great wine, great vibes. Spent like three hours eating, as I should have. That's what Spain gives always, and I love that for me, and I love that for all of us. Now I'm gonna be back on my grind. I have a decent amount of to-do list today, and if I can really knock stuff out, I will be in a great place for the week. So that's what I'm trying to do. So I will check in with y'all later if I leave my apartment, which I might not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching Hoochie Daddy season two finale. What? I'm not winning this one. I got dressed and went to Rosa Negra earlier to get some like Mexican food because I wanted some enchiladas, suizas. So I did that. And after this, I'm going to do my work. I have a stream to work today, and then I have two calls. Then after that, I'm gonna step out. I have an exciting plan later tonight that I'm gonna take y'all to. And I'm really hyped for that. So I'm gonna finish watching the finale. I have like, 30, 40 minutes left and then I'm gonna journal and then I might check in with y'all before I start my work day because I'm gonna start my work day at like five, so. And I'll see y'all later. I'm feeling a little cute, you know, I got my little star clips in that I bought before I left. <laughs> I don't know, it's a good day, it's a great day. I'm drinking my water get my shit together so anyway i'll check in with y'all after this finale because i need to see this shit okay bye hello this is my going out fit for the day wasn't gonna i don't know if i'm gonna wear this jacket because it just be hot you know what i'm saying but also i'm gonna be out late so i might need it but these are probably some of the my favorite pants that I own like ever of all time I have other pants that are exactly like this that I bought that are dupes <laughs> That I like I bought them like a year ago or something because I loved these ones so much that I was like I need another pair This is my outfit. I am going to Paradiso to meet up with a gal that I met yesterday at a restaurant. We're gonna get drinks, then I think we're gonna, you know, wander, hang out, and then I have a Casa Bacho. Casa Bacho basically has a basement, like, music event thing that has, like, immersive art, and it's, like, in partnership with Sonar, which is happening next week, which I'm attending as well, and so I was like, Let's do it. Why not? It's an activity. I haven't really gone out at night. Not gonna lie Like I think I went out one night and that's it. So we're going out. We're getting out I just had a great call with my boss. We had a one-on-one -on -one. Shout out to all my hard work. Shout out to God. Shout out to the universe Shout out to everything that's aligning. Shout out to the Sun and Venus Kazemi. Shout out to all the planets being in alignment. Shout out to the new moon happening tomorrow. We lit. Okay, we lit. Celebrate today, you know? I'm gonna celebrate because I deserve it, because I'm a queen. And <laughs> that's just on period. 
I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I'm getting emotional. It's currently 7.07. .07. I'm going to make my way to the Gothic Quarter slash Raval and I will see y'all there. I will probably film in Paradiso because I haven't shown y'all Paradiso yet. I've shown my socials, but I haven't shown y'all. So I'm gonna bring my battery and everything. So, you know, it's, it's on point, it's lit. So yeah, I'll see y'all there. just saw I just went to the Casa Bacho night experience and it was very lit because it was only me and one other person I am now walking down via Laitana La Laitana I don't know I'm walking alone and I'm going to the gothic quarter because we're gonna get into some some shenanigans I believe I'm gonna have a couple drinks vibe then grab an Uber or a taxi home. It's literally, it's 1 a.m. I just got off the phone with my parents cause they literally, sorry. <laughs> cause they literally are coming to Barcelona now, <laughs> which is hilarious to me. Because one, my parents are not the chaotic type that just like makes plans like off the cuff. So this is hilarious, but also like it's lit because now they're coming. I extended my trip in Barcelona by a day, which kind of took some logistics. I had to like 
just like change my flight and then also change my Airbnb in Portugal. So I'm gonna be in Portugal a day later. I'm gonna be in Barcelona two days with them. Then I'm gonna go to Portugal. They're gonna meet me in Portugal the day after I get there. We're gonna chill in Portugal. I'm also gonna meet up with some homies and then they and then we're all gonna fly out on the 25th and I'm gonna go to Amsterdam and then they're gonna decide what they're gonna do but they might probably come back to Barcelona to spend a couple days here and then <clears throat> they're gonna go back home and then I'm going to continue my trip which I also just booked today but yeah actually it was really lit because I also got a refund. Like I was able to change my Portugal dates for my Airbnb within Airbnb. So I like sent a request to change and then they accepted it almost immediately. And then Airbnb actually sent me a refund for the one night that I'm not gonna be there for the one last night. So that's lit and we love to see it. I'm also just proud of myself because I feel like this trip the entire thing was looking way more expensive as of a week ago. And it's not that I was concerned about it, but I was just like, dang, like, it's not like I'm spending any more money than I would be spending in New York, but I definitely was like, the whole point was to save a bit of money. And now I actually feel like I'm saving money. So that is very exciting because I'm meeting up with some homies and we're splitting stuff and obviously like I'm splitting like my parents are literally coming to my Airbnb that I already booked in Portugal which is nice because they can just split it with me and then they also don't have to worry about dealing with hotels and finding stuff and doing logistics I already have it booked and there's thank goodness I got a huge Airbnb in Portugal because if I hadn't that would be mad annoying but I got a huge one so there's enough room for all of us and I'm so excited. <laughs> Tomorrow and this weekend will be clearly for making plans. I need to do my itinerary for my parents because I know when they get here, like we only have 48 hours, so we need to hit like the spots. I gotta make some dinner reservations, figure out like, just like what the vibe is gonna be for them because obviously I need to curate their vibe. Like there's certain things I want them to see, certain things I don't care about them seeing, whatever. And then I also need to plan out the rest of my trip, I feel like just in general. I wanna plan out Portugal because I definitely wanna hit beaches. Like Portugal is gonna be beach, beach, beach for sure. So, and also my parents really like castles, so I'm gonna try to set up some castle vibes for them as well. Yeah, I just have so much logistical stuff to do, so. I'm gonna plan that through this weekend. I feel like everything is falling into place. Today was like the day, you know? I finally booked my last Airbnb. I booked all of my flights pretty much with the exception of my flight back, which is fine because I'm doing through my job. Feeling a lot better because I feel like a lot of my stress and also just my mental energy, like I would wake up every day and I would be like looking for Airbnbs and trying to decide what city I was gonna live in and flights and all that. And like that took up so much space <laughs> that I need for other things. Like now I can actually do my tasks, my other tasks. I feel very good. Yeah, this trip has become such an unexpectedly beautiful thing. And I'm very, very, happy that I get to spend it also with a lot of people that I love. Like I started planning this trip completely solo, assuming I was gonna be completely alone the entire time. And now I'm not even gonna be in Barcelona alone. Like I'm literally meeting up with so many amazing people that I love that are so important to me in my life. And I'm just very, very thankful. And I feel like very full with that like that knowledge, you know, knowing that I get to share also some of my favorite places that I've ever been with people that I love, you know, especially my parents. So it's just beautiful, you know, like when you can share places you love with people that you love, especially like your parents and to be me, like being so independent and being here by myself, I was able to carry my weight and that like they don't have to pay for my flights and like I already paid for our Airbnb. So, you know, like stuff like that is just really dope.
and I'm very happy. So fingers crossed I get this last Airbnb accepted and then my whole my whole plans are planned out brother and things aren't always good because things aren't always good but they're good right now and that makes me happy y'all saw the casa bacho that was wild i should have honestly had my earplugs in for that because it was way too loud for me and i was kind of getting overwhelmed like with the sound but it's fine because <laughs> i made it through but i will talk to y'all tomorrow bye good morning happy friday we are headed out to park guel I made a reservation. I bought tickets for 1 p.m. It is like 10 something right now. So I'm heading out because I wanna get some food optimally before I go. I don't know how long I'll be in there and whatever, but it could be better, sure. However, I think I'm doing what I can with what I have. I was about to wear the shirt I was wearing the other day but like, I just was like, I already wore it. So anyway, I'm wearing this. It's a little cute skirt tank moment. Like it's nothing crazy. I tried to do it up with the jewelry and my hair. I'm, it is what it is. <laughs> Hopefully I'll look better sitting down. But yeah, I did my hair all cute. I'm feeling lit. Y'all, I just walked like 700 million thousand steps <laughs> to Park Guell. I'm an hour early for my like ticket time or whatever, but I've made it. <laughs> it's quite the fee. Okay, I'm gonna go like in, but I'll see y'all in there. Unreal. Unreal. Y'all, I'm in Park Goel, as you can probably tell. 
no rhyming intended but it's beautiful it's like a real park not that i didn't know that like i should have known that i'm an idiot but i'm not an idiot but i should have known that but now i as you probably already saw i went to like the highest point and i started there and i've been progressively going down it's been a beautiful time now i think i'm going to like the main park well area where like everyone takes their photos it's lit i'm glad i got my sunscreen on i'm glad i wore the shoes i wore it's been a long day of walking and when i get over there i'll check back in with y'all <laughs> 